Hey everybody, I'm Christopher Green, and you're listening to AMTV, Alternative Media Television. It is, of course, Wednesday, October 19, 2016, and we have the third debate tonight, which I think is absolutely critical. In fact, I did a very important video yesterday on demand titled Donald Trump Campaign on Life Support Unless This Happens. I encourage you to watch it. Click the link below. Start your free 14-day trial support us. Here's what uh, the mainstream media, Barack Obama, Hillary Clinton, Silicon Valley that's working directly with the Hillary Clinton campaign, by the way, Eric Schmidt, for example, advising Hillary Clinton on her entire digital infrastructure, by the way. People like George Soros, of course, funding not just Black Lives Matter movements and gross destabilization here in the United States and Europe through pre-planned engineered migration, which has been a byproduct of a covert and now very overt and well aware operation that the United States has been making through intelligence agencies, etc. in the Middle East, places like Libya, toppling of Muammar Gaddafi, the intended destabilization of Syria, which has resulted of course in total and absolute humanitarian crisis with up to 500,000 plus people slaughtered and murdered at the hands of this attempted Western coup, which has thus far just killed people and provided a training ground for World War III, yet has failed to ouster the rightful sovereign leader and president of Syria, Bashar al-Assad. But outside of all that, what you really need to know, and I think what's important today, Wednesday, October 19, 2016, even outside of the debate, is that the establishment really is losing control. That is not hyperbole, and it's not an exaggeration. It really is true. You know, Hillary Clinton has actually mentioned Alex Jones, for example, by name. Barack Obama has referenced it. The mainstream media continues to talk about the alt-right media. Now, notice I've talked about this incessantly, how they called it alt-right it kind of demonizes, you know, the alternative media. They didn't call it alternative media. That would have shed light and truth uh, and said something positive. Again, verbiage is very important. My point being, though, the establishment is actually losing. Not just with the acknowledgement and validation of what we're doing, what you guys are tuning into, what you're sharing, our videos, etc., and everybody involved in this truth movement, but also that they're losing control. So let me explain. There's been you know, several damaging videos that have come out, uh, specifically from the Veritas Project, uh, Mr. James O'Keefe, who again worked uh, back in the day directly with Breitbart before he wound up dead conveniently when he had you know, bombshell information on Barack Obama and said it would end, his, uh, uh, end him completely <laughs> and end his presidency, but you know, he wound up dead and then the guy that did his autopsy, of course, died too, so they couldn't do a proper autopsy. But outside of all of that, we've had many videos, not just from Veritas, but others, and many other sources reporting the fact that the voting system itself is rigged. That, for example, a report that we just dug up today uh, shows direct links to George Soros. Many of the voting machines, for example, I think at least over a dozen and in notable battleground states are actually owned by a company of George Soros that he took over, I believe, in 2005, if I remember correctly. And he owns uh, actually handling uh, the voting process in your state or your key battleground state, like in Florida or even here uh, in Arizona, which they say, at least if you're to believe the mainstream media, which we know they can't be trusted, is actually up for grabs, even though historically we're a very, very... Republican and conservative uh, based state. My point here being is that the establishment is losing control. Now, Obama said yesterday that it's absolutely ridiculous, something along these lines, and I'm paraphrasing a bit, that Donald Trump would suggest that the U.S. election process is rigged. Donald Trump has been putting out into the public consciousness because he knows, just like you do and I do, that the system is rigged. 
Obama's had to address this and call it out as whining. He's asked you know, Trump to stop whining and is saying things like it's outlandish to think that the U.S. election isn't transparent and that these voting machines, you know, physical ballot counting and digital counting, which is pretty much what it is now, they're digital machines, you know, couldn't be trusted uh, by the population. You know, almost like we're a third world country, right? It's every other country that can't be trusted, but of course you can trust the United States, even though every damaging leak that even recently has been coming out, and this is going on for years, of course we knew it was happening all along, from, for example, the Podesta emails or WikiLeaks or what Edward Snowden showed the world with the National Spying Agency or the fact that these politicians are bold-faced directly lying to all of our faces on a regular basis. They're absolutely two-faced. They say one thing and they're doing the exact, exact opposite. Whether or not it's Hillary's health, which they denied, and then she collapses and you know comes out that she said, you know, concussions and blood clots and she's on Coumadin and all these other hosts of issues, right? and collapses on 9-11 because she can barely stand. Well, we're not really talking about that anymore. And of course, the American people don't care about, you know, the Clinton Foundation scam and the hundreds of millions of dollars that they've accumulated as a result without selling a single physical good widget or even a digital product, but just really essentially a pay-to-play scam while Hillary Clinton was Secretary of State. Just they're being bought by foreign leadership and governments like Saudi Arabia that treat women like shit, by the way, yet Hillary Clinton wants to still call herself a feminist. Now I can go on and on, Benghazi Gate, etc., the transferring of guns, the creation of ISIS, which didn't even exist until Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama got into power. I can go on and on, but I'll save that for a separate video. The point here is, is the establishment really is losing control, and we are winning. You see, the idea that the U.S. election is rigged, which it absolutely 110% is, is very, very dangerous. You see, if the American people begin to believe, which, and this is just the truth, that the system is rigged against them, that the money system is rigged against them, that the voting system is rigged against them, that the media is rigged against them, that the educational system is rigged against them, that the healthcare system is rigged against them. And this is all a mode and system of indoctrination, propaganda, and control, which it absolutely 110% is. Why do you think there's a multi-billion dollar corporate-owned mainstream media in the first place, which owns the same very politicians, that, and doctrines of which are pushed by those that really move the heartstrings and inner workings of Washington, D.C. and global politics, people like George Soros, etc., why do you think it even exists? The system is rigged. The whole thing's an illusion. Again, just like the money system. When people wake up to the idea, which is just knowledge and truth and light, and absolute factual, for example, that there's no difference between a $1 bill and a $100 bill, it's not it's the same piece of crap paper it's printed on, people will begin to lose faith in the economy. They stop spending, or they hoard, or they stockpile, or they divest their funds, for example, into real tangible assets, things that actually hold value, not worthless paper. Well, the same idea, a dangerous idea, that they don't want to really be put out into the mainstream, is that the election process is rigged, the electoral process is rigged, the odds and cards are stacked against you, and it's all being controlled. You know, the minute people believe that and wake up to that is the moment we actually do become a third world country and people pick up their pitchforks in the streets and everyone meets at the White House in Washington, D.C. and sets it ablaze. That's the honest to God truth. It's notable to see the validation that the mainstream media, the president, people like Hillary Clinton are giving, not just alternative media, but also these ideas, trying to discredit the idea that the system is rigged when it is. I mean, think about this for a minute. How are the votes actually tallied? Right? Has, have you actually really investigated this for yourself? So, you, you know, you go to a, a balloting, you know, a polling area, right, a physical booth, and let's say you, you know, physically vote at the ballot box, and then those are collected in a box, and then somebody allegedly seals those box, boxes, okay, I don't know who's monitoring them or, you know, how there's transparency there. They allegedly seal the box, 
Then they take the box, they give the box to another group of people that we're supposed to trust. Usually they're like sworn officers of the law or government agents, which I don't know who's, you know, how that's transparent because I don't know who's monitoring the government agents as they're transferring the actual physical ballot boxes to a government facility, typically, in your city, town, or state. And then those boxes that have been sealed by the people we're supposed to trust and then handed off to the other people that we're supposed to be trust, that we're supposed to trust that aren't being monitored. It goes to that government facility in your city, town, or state, and they do a digital count through the same machines owned by, and I can prove this, in fact, we'll even, I'll put a specific link to this in the description below, that are owned by people like George Soros that fund Hillary Clinton's super PACs and the millions of dollars and overtly destabilize the United States political process and are, and are literally physically destabilizing it with mass migration and destabilization of the Middle East. So who's monitoring that? And then, of course, all these polls, and most of it is moving digitally now today, is then counted through big technology companies like Google, etc., that oversee the campaigns of Hillary Clinton, etc., all, all of Silicon Valley. I mean, the only person that doesn't, essentially, and is even donated to Donald Trump is Peter Thiel, and he was actually almost fired over his political beliefs, uh, according to a tweet that was just sent out the other day. And then it's all integrated with big tech and the huge monopolies that are self-interested to elect Hillary Clinton. And we're somehow supposed to trust this process. Like it's transparent. Like it's not Rick. Again, who's monitoring all these people? Are you? Are you physically there? Is there a third-party, independent, transparent agency monitoring each transaction, each vote, each polling booth, each government office, facility, each person? And then who's monitoring the monitoring? Who's monitoring those that are supposed to be the third-party, transparent parties? Who's monitoring them? And it goes on and on. You see, this whole thing is easily rigged just with a keystroke. Just with a keystroke, it's that easy. The government and the mainstream media will tell you exactly what to believe and exactly who, who won. Now, let me give you a physical, concrete example why Donald Trump is right. Nobody shows up to Hillary Clinton rallies. You can see it with hardcore evidence with your actual eyes when you see the pictures of the you know, people at her rallies. There's no one there. It's just her minions and the people that she's bussed in. Which, by the way, one of her buses uh, dumped sewage into the street the other day. She just took a big shit on America. That's, I'm not even making that up. That's true. You compare it to Donald Trump rallies as he's flying around the country. And I've attended one of him here recently in Prescott Valley, one of our smaller cities here in Arizona. A venue that only could hold 5,000 people had just about, from the estimates I saw, fifteen to 20,000 people show up. And it was wrapped around the building. Yet when you look at the polls, the mainstream media tells us Hillary Clinton is winning. How is that possible? What we can't trust and believe our own eyes? My point being here with this video is that the whole system is rigged. The idea that Donald Trump's putting out to the American public right now is dangerous. But it's also true. And it's exactly why. The President of the United States, the Manchurian candidate, Barack Obama, and Hillary, Rotten Clinton, are trying to discredit that message and discredit that truth because they know, as well as you do and as well as I do, the minute the people believe what Donald Trump is saying, or not even what he's saying, they just believe the idea that the system is rigged, which it absolutely 100% is, they lose control. They lose power. The people, in aggregate, again, are more powerful than those that aim to control the masses. That's when the pitchforks come out. That's when things are, God forbid, set ablaze. That's when there's populist rage and anger and physical action in the streets. And they lose. Same thing goes for the money system, the criminal Federal Reserve, the fact that our, the dollar's backed by nothing. It has no integral value, tangible real value at all. It's just a total illusion. And it's based on faith that it's actually worth something and that you'll be able to transact in it. 
The minute people lose faith, the elites lose everything. Whether it's money, or it's polling, or it's media, or it's anything else for that matter. That's the real truth. And I think, really, the great success, even if Donald Trump loses, he's exposing the giant elephant in the room. He's exposing what a criminal institution Washington, D.C. is. What criminals these people actually are. People like Barack Obama, Hillary Clinton, and others. Now, I still think Donald Trump can win. I absolutely think that he can. But I also think that the election is rigged. As I suggested and recommended in yesterday's content and the videos that we put out, and thank you for your tremendous support, I ask that you remain vigilant, folks. Go to your polling stations. Investigate for yourself. Become an independent, rogue journalist such as myself. Send us anything you find. Monitor those not being monitored. We saw a classic example of this yesterday with part two of the Veritas Project released on the voter fraud scandal and how just out in the open it is. Where's the FBI there? Where's the investigation there? How come Hillary Clinton's not talking about that? You know, one of the guys who visited the White House, you know, dozens of times in recent years <laughs> with direct connections to Barack Obama. The system's rigged, folks. The system is rigged. It's all digital, and they can manipulate is as easy as pressing a single button. Get it out everywhere. I'm Christopher Green. Make it viral, hard-hitting, and in your face. And click the link below to support us. Peace.